Hey everyone, we are officially back in the calming Majula sun slash music sunset, I should say. Uh, in this episode of uh, Tales of Drang Lake, we are going to be heading into Hate's Tower of Flame and beyond, I think. We'll see how far we get, we'll see how different this area is. Um, yeah, it should be good. I mean, the look of the area is already improved in that from Majula, you actually have like a proper scaled version of Hade instead of just like some tiny ass random lighthouse in the distance. Good old Crimson Parma. Man, my ear is really itchy. Like behind my ear, I should say. His big ass headphones on. So yeah, anyways, um, I'm wearing an appropriately themed sweater, Christmas sweater. You gotta get into the mood, you know, it's December. The first week of December is over, which is only technically a half week, but still, you know, we're going into Christmas a couple of more weeks. Uh, we had our first snow of the season. What up? This place is cool. We had our first snowfall of the season, which was uh, pretty cool. You know, with the dog, he's six months old, so this was his first snow experience. He actually loved it. Like, really loved it. He was super active today, which is always good, you know. And, you know, I don't tend to mind snow, really. Uh, when we get about this much of it. Nothing like major. Plus it was above freezing. So it m basically it's all melted now. Crush stab. Uh, what I really hate. Uh, you get this type of snow more in like January and shit where. There's quite a lot of it. And it doesn't melt. And it just keeps getting condensed into like thicker and thicker ice. That is like an absolute nightmare to deal with, both in terms of like driving and just in general living. Uh, so that's the that's the type I hate. Although to be fair, you know, now that everybody's working from home, there is no like. There's never any obligation to go in to like the office or something, which honestly when it's the winter, I do not mind at all. I specifically remember there was one day last winter where it was just absolutely miserable. Yeah, you know what? Why not? Dragon Slayer is easy enough. Like I specifically remember I went down to my car, it was fucking frozen solid, there was like a layer of ice on the windows, I got in, I was freezing, I couldn't get the ice off, everything was fogged up and I was like, you know what, no, fuck it, I'm not going in, and I didn't go in that day. That's like, you know, hesitating to say that there is such a thing as an advantage to COVID, but this is one of them. Even though we had fairly good, like, work from home rules at my old workplace and my current workplace. Okay, this is the, this is the dangerous part. This is how these guys can fuck you up. If they get in some specific uh, timing with their attacks and they just screw you over. Yeah, pull it. Why not? So I'm going to have a look over there. Towards the dragon. There is no dragon. There is a dragon. Oh, shit. It's always, there's always a question, like, do they have the dragon, do they not have the dragon? <laughs> uh, fuck. He 
These hate knights are motherfuckers too because they have that stupid attack where they run at you and the attack has a hitbox before they like start even swinging at you. Luckily this is a backstabbable enemy. If I can get one off. That's the one. I don't know where... Okay, the knight just gave up. Which I don't mind because... I'd rather honestly go this way. Take care of the boss. Get the bomb, bong fire. And then we can move on. Oh, there's a summon here. Interesting. Fuck. There's the Dark Souls 2 BS. Shit. Anyways, hey, that is super rare, like super super rare, holy shit, that, that attack is fucked up, come on, just let me backstab, ah, that attack, that attack sucks, let's get back here. Okay, change of plans. What I'm gonna do, and here's the tactic. Uh, there's a bonfire after the Dragon Slayer, or Dragon Rider, I should say. So what I'm gonna do is we will lure this guy out. Fuck. Oh, but no, this is not good, because I wanted to see the summon. Who is it? Ziegbert the Brit. It's the dude from Firelink. Okay, we got we gotta summon him. I was gonna say, uh, change of plans, I'm just gonna run to the boss. And then once I hit up the bonfire, we can do this thing with the chest. That is gonna be some bullshit. Uh, but the fact that there is a Zeke Bird... Uh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Talk about a bad combination of enemies. Kill him. Yeah, this is... That was not a fun combo. Another one. Interesting. Probably they might have upped the drop rate because you cannot... Uh, go online obviously in this game so if you want to use the spells which are tied to the covenant holy shit there's the boy and he's wearing the the ring that makes you not a oh come on seriously <laughs> he just comes out swinging okay let's just screw this guy up then thanks Ziegbert you're the boy just, you know, when we're going back, try not to fall off. Ring of Binding. Yeah, we'll live jump up. So, it's standard Onion, bro. I don't think the piercing shield exists in this game. So, he ain't gonna have that. Yeah, this boss is easy. Oh, he's fast. Holy shit, that's fast. But whatever, like, this this dude is the biggest bitch. <laughs> Maybe he's not, because that is mad fast. That is mad quick on those attacks. Like, seriously, noticeably qu quick. But I think we have a Tarkus situation on our hands, really. Uh, this dude looks fairly powerful. He's just like absolutely going to town. <laughs> this is rolling. When do you ever see an onion bro fast rolling? I ain't never seen that. Thanks, Zeke Bert. And they really are running out of Zeke names. You know, we had Zeke Word, Zeke Meyer, Zeke Bert. Although this is non official. 
still. So the only thing is that just screwed with my plan, but it didn't really because we got the Ring of Binding, which is sort of what you want. Okay. Are you from these parts? What up? My name is Lysia. I have come to spread the art of miracles. Good old Lysia. Really? I have like three intelligence. I mean, three faith. Like, why? Why do you? Th why do you think that? I genuinely, I think I have three faith. What is this increases faith? Well, maybe with the ring. Okay, we're just gonna, I think, skip this dialogue told you and you just get her to move you know see it for progress without any goings on i'll have to move soon to a place i could go sorry wink 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 you know anyways damn this place is cool i do like hate strout tower of flames i mean this was one of the the sort of flagship areas really uh for this game they really hype this up. Actually, I should have a look at my equipment because, I mean, it's heavy. Yeah, because them shoes, them shoes look absolutely terrible. Yeah. That's heavier. Interesting. Leather boots look stupid. I mean, I don't know how much that takes away from my iframes. Because if you don't know, uh, being overburdened when you don't have enough endurance kind of screws with your rolling. Which is not something you really want in this game. Uh, 13k, I should... Yeah, we're going back to Majula. Okay. Let's just have a look around here. So, yeah... York Spear is 3025, so we're gonna start slowly, like, working towards that, but we also need a bit of endurance and HP, always important. And then I'm gonna have a look, no, he's still there, he's just chilling right there. That's cool. Thanks for helping out, bruh. I'm not gonna attack him, I'm not, not even gonna try that. Cool, let's head back. Anyways, yeah, that's much better. Thousand souls, I do not mind risking. Even in like the early state of the game. Fancy. Oh man, these two... These two weapons work really well together. This would be a pretty good PvP build too. This was a fairly common setup actually. Now that I think about it. Except people use rapiers. Specifically like S-Stock, Ice Rapier, all that shit. A rapier and something like a katana worked really well because... The rapiers had insane phantom range in this game because of the lag. I swear, you'd think you were stabbing them with, I don't know, something that's like the width of a tray. And they would roll and then you can just do the katana move and hit them. Fairly common tactic. All them PvP strats are hitting me, you know. Holy shit. Oh, Dark Souls 2. Man. Okay, this guy's like insanely powerful for some reason. Oh, come on. Okay, let's just take a step back. Thank you. Why do you have so much HP? Okay, eat f shit. It's 
Sublime Bone Dust. Oh yeah, the first one. First Sublime Bone Dust. Pretty pointless at this point, but hey. This is the one thing I always, always forget to use, so... I'm gonna have to, like, self-remind occasionally. Man, that guy was fast. And it didn't look like they did anything with his insane uh, 180 in-place spinning tracking. That was the signature move for the Cyan. These are the Cyan Knights, I think. Like, a truly... The thing you know them for. Yep. Blocked. There's nothing really useful there, actually, up there. Just a soul vessel. Oh, come on, Ishin. What the hell is that? Unfortunately, there is no katana in this game, which has that overhead Ichimonji style. Uh, like slam down that would be that would be the shit if it existed in this game and I still don't know what armor to wear you guys are gonna have to like give me some suggestions because I specifically know that there is an armor set in Dark Souls 3 with ha which has that bluish tint that Ichin's armor has I don't want I don't want to do this area this area sucks. Let's go back to the tower and go the other way and check out the stuff with the dragon and Orstein, although that's pretty fucking annoying too. But yeah, back to my point, I don't know if there's anything like that in this game. There's just so many armor sets here, it's insane. Okay, this might be a stupid way of handling this, uh, just to run. Because I like have half an army on my ass. But I guess we'll just find out what happens. Please tell me there's f there is friendly fire, just very little. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Cool. Dope. Scratch that, I would rather do No Man's Wharf, actually. You know, just rethinking the situation. Let's do this place. How the fuck am I gonna do that? There is a way to make them fall. There it is. There it is. There it is. It's just a little bit wonky. And this area seems, maybe it's just my PC settings, but this area seems way lighter than it ever has been. Oh, hello there. Fuck. One thing I've definitely noticed is they for sure have taken out some of the like very annoying enemy placements that existed in Scholar. This area was typical where there were like dogs here and a guy sprung, springing up behind your back. Archers everywhere. They definitely adjusted for that, which is good. Because there were some BS situations in this game. Does that make things easier? Yeah, I guess so, but... You know... Frustration and challenge are... Sometimes close to each other, Bradley. Oh, he's in Firelink too. That's the dude. He said that's not a new NPC. He existed before, you just never saw him. Yeah, this area is definitely looking way easier. 
is a doggo. Or maybe I'm just such a dope Dark Souls 2 player that I don't even notice. Possible. Without giving too much credit to myself, I've played this game enough to have that situation. I don't even know when I started recording. Anyways, we have quite a lot to cut out. Is that like a thief with an S stock? Something like that. Bus through. Police coming through. That was a warrantless search for sure. I think, yep, that's where we go. Oops. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. It's either my PC settings or they just like really change the look of this area because it's, it's, it's bright. It doesn't have that like, oh, what the fuck? These are cool, these guys. Like little bandits. The local militia or something. Yeah, don't fuck with Ishin. That's where you'll end up. And they really give you a shit ton of human effigies. I am liking these enemies. Although the Varangian Knights are okay as well. But to be fair, this game has pretty samey area, uh, enemies in all areas. It's one of the like main criticisms usually against it. But hey, who cares? Don't even think about breaking. Yeah, I I gotta be careful. Not to break this shit. Imagine it. <laughs> oh, almost. Almost. Because you know what I was about to say. I, I almost said, imagine if it was a mimic. And it fucking almost happened. What is the silver talisman? What does that do? Transform. Oh, that's. Yeah, 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 I know what it is. Definitely, if I had the skills to make a uh, full Souls game rework mods like this, I would be. That mod would be like Mimic Central, let me tell you. I would fuck with people so much with Mimic placements. People would be like up on Reddit and shit complaining. I wouldn't care. That didn't work. It's so much easier to handle these things with like proper attunement. That was a spell, wasn't it? I wasn't even paying attention. See, I'm confident enough to take on these three. That's how. Cause normally I wouldn't touch this with a 10 foot. Okay. What was it about not touching this with a 10 foot pole? I'm really hoping I didn't, I didn't screw myself here. Okay. Here's a lesson for you. Get better bleed defense. That thing does not want to run out, does it? Yeah, come to the stairs. How the shit it, did that even hit me? Cool. 
And I'm gonna be honest with you, I think Gavlan used to be up there. I have no clue what's over there right now. Probably something useless. Hey, I might be pleasantly surprised. Oh fuck, there's one more. That's your reward, one more of these assholes. It's really weird how the first attack always misses me. Oh, you have got to be fucking with me. This better be something. <laughs> See, in my mod, that would have definitely been a mimic. It's a stupid greatsword. Okay. There's a big sensor or whatever it's called. Can light the whole area with that, but it's not really. It ain't really a tang in this version of the game. Oh shit. Tricky. I got hit, so I gotta be careful. Oh yeah, interesting. I'm guessing the armor is giving me, the leggings are giving me a little bit of attunement. This is barely a touch. Not attunement, what am I talking about? Poise. I'm really talking out of my ass today. Oh, interesting. These are like the starting classes almost. Like this guy definitely is, except for the weapon. He's using the great axe. That's a pretty good addition. Alright, call in the boat. Uh, how am I gonna survive here? I gotta at least make it to the shortcut, right? This is gonna be light gem, life gem, light gem, what the fuck am I talking about? Life gem central. Uh, you know what? Actually, I didn't even know you could go from this place and drop down like that. If I'd known that... It's just this area is so dark you don't really see that in like a normal playthrough. I thought you were dead. See? That poise though. Okay. You guys have got to get off my ass right now. The, the. Yep, 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 yep. I got the shortcut, it don't matter. We're gonna take this on with Bradley. Bradley Cooper, oh shit, I'm getting tangled. Yeah, I think... I know death endings are always anticlimactic, but I think... That wraps this episode up quite nicely, right? I don't know, I didn't check my time, the time before starting recording, but whatever. We'll make it work. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode of Tales of Drang Lake here. Thank you guys very much for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment on it, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and yeah, I will catch all of you next time. Take care and peace out.